Hello everyone, now in this video, I will let you know how to make your own connected pendants using which you can share your feelings to your loved ones anywhere in this world. So let's quickly get started. Now before jumping into the tutorial, let me tell you its basic working principles. Here, both the pendants are connected with each other via internet. So whenever the button is pressed on the first pendant, the same data is reflected on the other pendant. And whenever the button is pressed on the second pendant, the same data is reflected on the first one. So this is the basic working principle. I will be discussing this data transfer and the technology used in detail further in this video. So now let's jump onto the making part. So to make this project, you will need one ESP826601 module, one lithium battery, one HT7333 IC, one 10K resistor, 100 ohm resistor, one push button and some LEDs. And the connections of all the components is something like this. Now I want to make this project in heart shape pendant and hence I designed my own PCB in heart shape on easyedia.com where I arranged all the components inside this heart shape and made a hole on the top to attach a thread in it. Then I gave its order to GLCPCB straight away. Ordering PCBs online made very simple by GLCPCB. We just need to upload the Gerber file, select the masking color and place the order. After a couple of days, I received this heart shaped PCB at my home. PCBs from GLCPCB looks really neat and professional. It's so beautifully made that I can just attach a thread directly in the PCB and wear it like a heart pendant. Isn't that amazing? Now coming back to the video, on the PCB, one by one I shouldered all the components. Here I am using this 2 pin headers as a charging port of this device. So I shouldered all the components except ESP8266 as I need to program it first before shouldering. Now let's jump to the programming of a love project. So I have programmed this project using Arduino IDE. Now to make this code run on your Arduino as well, you first need to download the ESP8266 boards packages and for that kindly follow the steps mentioned in this video. After following the steps, all the ESP266 related boards will appear under the board section of Arduino IDE. Then go to sketch, include libraries, into manage libraries. Here search for Adafruit MQTT. Now click on this install button. Now if you already have this library, make sure you update it from here only. That's it. This is the configuration which you have to do to make this code get successfully compiled onto your Arduino IDE. So now let's see what changes you need to do in this code. Now I have made two codes each for one pendant. Now explaining this code line by line will become much complicated. So let's just understand the working of the code directly. So we have two pendant, pendant 1 and pendant 2. At the beginning of the code, both the pendant will first try to connect to the router or hotspot so that they can talk to each other via internet. After getting internet connection, both will try to connect the Adafruit MQTT broker. Now here, let me tell you how to configure your own Adafruit MQTT account. First of all, go to io.adafruit.com and make your account here. After that, you need to go to this welcome dashboard and click on this plus icon. Select the toggle button. Here, write the feed name as lamp underscore one underscore master. Click on next step and change the data to one for on and zero for off. Then click on this create block button. Similarly, create another toggle button and give it a feed name as lamp underscore two underscore master. Then here also, you need to change the data to one for on and zero for off. At last, create another toggle button and give it a feed name as lamp underscore brightness. Here also change the data to 1 for on and 0 for off. That's it. This is what you need to do for configuring your own MQTT broker. Coming back to the code explanation. So here on the MQTT broker, we have three feeds, lamp1 master, lamp2 master and lamp brightness. 
at startup, all the feeds will be at zero position. Now, if anyone presses the button on pendant 1, then the light on that pendant will turn on and the pendant will send the data 1 to both lamp 1 master feed and brightness feed. After that, same data is received on pendant 2 and the light on that pendant will also get turned on. Now, until the button on second pendant is pressed, lights on both the pendant will be in on position only. Now, as soon as the person presses the button on pendant 2, light on that pendant will turn off, the brightness fade and lamp on master fade will come back to zero value and the light on the first pendant will also get turned off. Now, this process can be done from either pendants. Logic for this particular thing is written inside this code. Now, for using this code, you need to make very little changes here. First of all, you need to add your router's SSID name and password here. Then, you need to write the Adafruit IO account name and AIO key which you will be getting from the website after you click on this key icon button. That's it. Now, let's upload the code. I will be uploading this master code on one ESP and the slave code in another ESP. Now, if you don't know how to upload the code onto the ESP using Arduino IDE, I will suggest you to watch out this particular video in which I have shown the whole process step by step. After successfully uploading the code, I will first remove this plastic piece from this ESP so that our ESP can go way more deeper inside the PCB. Now, I will shoulder this ESP on the PCB and after shouldering all the components, it looks something like this. Similarly, I made another set of this project by doing the same process. Now to increase the battery life of our pendant, I just deshouldered this red power LED from both the ESPs. It won't affect the board or the project, but it will definitely help us to increase the battery standby time. Now it's time for packaging of our project. For packaging, I have three pieces of acrylic which I got laser cut and laser engraved on a machine. Thanks to Mr. Akshay Chawla for helping us with this. So I will be forming a sandwich like structure with a black acrylic at the bottom, then PCB above it, then one clear acrylic to cover the borders and one laser engraved acrylic on the top. So first I will stick this battery on the PCB with a double sided tape, then we will stick all the acrylic sections with the help of glue. After all the portion gets sticks with each other, I inserted one metal ring from the hole so that I can easily attach a thread in it. After that, I have used this TP4056 battery charging module to charge up the battery inside our love project. We just need to plug the female wires into this male headers at the charging port of our project with the power polarity of positive on the top and negative at the bottom. After charging the device, I attach the thread with the pendant so that I can easily wear it. And with the similar steps, I made another pendant and our love project of connected pendants is now ready to use. Really, the package of this product plays a very important role and makes it more than just a project. Now let's just test this pendant. <laughs> So yeah, the project is perfectly working. I hope you enjoyed this video and got to learn something new, something creative this time. Subscribe my channel if you haven't to see more such awesome project tutorials. Other than projects, I also used to upload some getting started video on our products or projects some explained videos regarding sensor or technology and some short but useful tips and tricks. So just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.